second is that okay uh yeah good evening to all of you out there in uh cyrax nation um you know i'm sure if you saw his live earlier today um you might have some sort of sympathy for his rapist brother as he calls them uh, which only goes to show you that sally lied early and lied off in the cyrax um you know, I'm not sure what sort of story she concocted to convince him that this man was his brother, but um, they're definitely one and the same. They're two peas in the same pod. Uh, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Um, I'm not sure how many of you guys have seen the Pinterest uh, that his dad has created. Um, if you haven't, you know, I definitely almost don't want you to go and check it out because it's like it's it's really messed up and graphic and um, there's no real nudity but it has pictures of like ten year old boys who are forced to wear dresses and the captions are like young feminized soccer boys are easy to convince and just all this sorts of perverted shit. Um, so as far as people reaching out to his place of work, I don't have any sympathy for the guy. Brother dead. Correct. He's, he's a bro dad, as uh, somebody else called him. Um, it's just really terrible and uh, despicable, to say the least. Um, you know, shut off my Discord. I guess it's uh, beeping there. Um, or dad bro. Yeah, it, it, it's I don't know what you call him, but I'm not sure what Sally should have done there as far as telling him the truth or not. Um, you know, but it's so weird because you watch this video, he refers to him as his brother constantly, and he also addresses an actual small business owner, uh, Morris Auto Detail in Anchorage, Alaska, who employs Wangus Ravenwood, uh, FKA. Wrong button. Press the wrong button there. Um, yeah, so they, I guess they employed or currently employ and are debating on whether or not, oops, yeah, 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 black screen, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but uh, I guess people have left some reviews 
on the businesses, various social media. And uh, I, I guess they're having to think about it. And, you know, when it comes down to uh, rapists who served 25 years, or I think 20, I think he was sentenced to 25. And I, I think he may have only served 20. I, don't quote me on that, but I know for sure he was sentenced to 25 years because the case was so graphic and gruesome that it left physical injury. Don't press that button. Yeah, 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 right, right on, right on. Um, let me see if I can pull that up for you guys here. Uh, really not a pretty sight. This family is just fucking warped. Um, Okay, give me a second. Where did I put this? Okay, here we go. Um, okay, now I'll put that. Let's see if I can do this. Okay, yeah, here we go. And this is how fucked up this guy is in, in this family. But Cyrax wants to defend him. He wants to tell this guy who runs a car wash that he has no right parting ways with this guy, even though he's currently jerking off to 10-year-old boys in dresses and making these lewd, filthy comments. You can't really blame Marty for this one, Cyrax. And it's really not something you should defend. Unless, you know, you can relate to him. This is just how you are. And the, you realize that you two have a lot in common and you're going to rush to, to your brother's defense. Um, why isn't that? Okay, there we go. Um, yeah, you can see that Smith's conduct was amongst the worst within the definition of first degree sexual assault. Um, therefore, can't say it was clearly mistaken. And uh, you'll also see that an aggravating factor was causing physical injury to a 14-year-old girl. Now, I mean, that's really bad, obviously. That's terrible. Um, you know, and hearing this is, oh, shit, I didn't, I'm not screen sharing. Why isn't this, why isn't this screen sharing? Or was I screen sharing? There you go. Um, you can see it all there. and It's, it's pretty monstrous. Um, yikes is right, Mr. Schmuckelcat. Uh, absolute total monster. Wait, waiting room. You know, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry for my uh, lack of punctuality at times. Um, yeah, dad slash brother, wing, wing is William Ravenwood. Okay, all right. Yeah, so um, I don't know how much Cyrax knows about this. But I definitely know that he has not seen his dad's Pinterest because he says that his dad's predatory behavior was 30 years ago. And that may be true, but he's still ogling. Is it oogling or ogling? Oh, you know, whichever the case. Uh, he's doing that to 10-year-old boys in dresses and making comments that they're easy, easy to convince, you know. Unconscionable Angus. Uh, agreed. Agreed. And, you know, I really, this family leads me to believe in the concept of an evil seed. That there is just something genetic that makes people evil and monstrous and completely lack a conscience. So, I mean, that's that. Um, but this message goes out to more its auto detail in Anchorage, Alaska. Um, yeah, if one of the moderators can uh, link the business, you know, like their website. I think it's just Morris Auto Detail in uh, Anchorage, but I think it's just MorrisAutoDetail.com. Um, I, I don't want to be wrong on that and, and, you know, have somebody calling the wrong business. But, yeah, okay, it's just MorrisAutoDetail.com. And uh, all of their pertinent information is on there. Let them know what a scumbag this guy is. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm going to post this. Oh, man. It's just fucked up. I shouldn't have even clicked on that because just looking at it fucked me up. 
But uh, I mean, Gigi's a pretty wise guy. Do you think I could post a link to this guy's Pinterest? Um, or, or would that like put me in some kind of weird position? Uh, is John Ham John Ham? Are you my are, one second here? Uh, Yeah, uh, so I just linked him. You know, I don't know if like a, a, some weird hang up here, but I feel like if somebody else posts this Pinterest, that I will somehow be less responsible for it. Um, yeah, this is his dad's Pinterest here. And you'll see like the most fucked up and sexual deviant shit. Uh, FBI might look at you, Marty. I don't, you know, I would, I guess they're already looking at me for Cyrex, you know, so I, I but, um, yeah, I, I don't know if, if anything, I just point them in the direction of Wangus Ravenwood and, um, hope that they'll be lenient on me for sending a midget and Akron rope. Uh, that's all I can really hope for. But yeah, if you take a look at that shit, uh, and I, and I clicked off of it, but if you start reading like little captions, it's terrible. Okay, well, that's that's you know that's that's reasonable, that's reasonable. Well, okay, that's that's probably a fair thing. Um, although I, I'm just saying that I, I don't think they possibly know about this guy's uh, conduct, and I would say it's very admirable of them to make the right decision, and it's probably just a lack of vetting. But now that they're presented with this, uh deviant in their midst. Um, I think it's commendable that they've done the right thing and I'm just responding and reacting to Cyrax's video. It's terrible, it's terrible. What's up you guys? Not only am I coming on here to do a show, but I have something to speak about that's very, very important, all right? Yeah, I just, you know, it had to be known what Cyrax is defending here. Like, this is the hill that he wants to die on. Let it be. No, I'm not going to fucking dick around. But this video, this whole live stream, this is going out to those that have been attacking my brother and, and costing him his fucking job. Alright? Y'all punk ass motherfuckers that are attacking my brother and cost. It's amazing that he calls him his brother, too, by the way. See him his job? Like, Sally just lied to him early and often. Huh, you know what? It, it's If Cyrax were to call me his brother, I would be offended at this point. Y'all need to keep your motherfucking mouths shut. For real. Keep your goddamn mouths shut. For real. Back the fuck off and zip your fucking lips. Alright? And to my brother's boss, and this is no disrespect to you at all because I myself am a business owner. I run my own custom clothing shop online as well. Yeah, I mean, he talks about this uh, business that he runs. Um, I don't think he has any employees. I don't know how hands-on it is. I'm not sure what their total revenue is. Um, lots of, like, uh, valid uh, questions there. I would say a complete lack of parallels or similarities.
But but good point anyway, Cyrax. What I do. So I know what you're talking about when you say you have a business to run. I get it. But with all due respect, don't fire my brother because of what these people are doing. Alright? Something that you need to understand about running your own business, sir, is that people are... <laughs> well, I'm just thinking here, you know. Uh, of course, Morris... Well, uh, yeah, well, I was going to just call him uh, mad, but uh, Morris had like a bit of a situation to deal with and does with Wangus. And uh, I couldn't imagine like having to deal with that and then watching this and trying to figure out what the hell is going on here. We're going to talk trash all the time. You can't base someone's job off of a star system. Whether you get five stars or four stars, whatever, it doesn't matter. Okay? It kind of does. Your freaking employees should come first. But sorry, X, this guy is jerking off to 10-year-old boys and saying that they're easy to convince and that, like, pink is the new blue for... Boys, you know, just the most disturbing and depraved shit. The safety of your employees should come before anything. Oh All right? my god! And what my brother is getting put through is a very serious situation. That like what your what your quote unquote brother is doing is a very serious situation. Like some of these boys were just forced in dresses, like for like the sick amusement of creeps and predators like your father. Like knowing that your dad has these interests, uh, it's just it's just really sickening. The public needs to be made aware of. The public needs to be made aware of these people that are going after my brother and myself and our family. <laughs> so instead of firing my brother, how about you help us out to help bring down these people that are very dangerous? I mean, the people in, in these Pinterest groups uh, seem to be very dangerous. Like, if, if you and honestly, uh, if you click on some of like the the links that are that, that are in his thing, and you know, thank God, thank God for this. But uh, if you click on them, like they're all, all the links are removed. Like, like their things can't be found. So, like. It seems that Wangus is like one of the ones who hasn't been snuffed out. My brother didn't do anything. So why attack him for something that's out of his control? It doesn't make any sense. Wait a second. For something that's out of... Help us out to help bring down these people that... So, okay. Hang on a second here. He wants Morris to get behind this guy. A brutal rapist who is currently looking at little boys in dresses and jerking off. He wants to give this person unconditional support. You know, like this, this people, I'm sure, bring their families to the car wash. I mean, uh, I remember when I was like a, a, a kid, I'd go to the car wash sometimes with my parents, you know. Um, to have this, to know that this guy is there and what he's into and what he's capable of, it's just not something you can have around. This guy doesn't deserve anything but the worst. Legit, this guy is just an evil piece of shit. Um, as are you. I would just say you're not as cunning, and you're a midget, so you're a lot less dangerous. But. You have the same intents and desires, and this is probably why you are defending him right now, in my opinion. They're very dangerous. My brother didn't do anything, so why attack him for something that's out of his control? It Your brother didn't do anything. He's jerking off to 10-year-old boys. He is congregating with like-minded deviants. He is... Telling people publicly, well, I, I guess he was he was aware actually that it was public because 
uh, we were we were calling him and he was watching the stream. So he was well aware that it was a public conversation um, that he told Schmeckel, how about I rape your sister and your mother? You know, like this guy is really rape minded. And um, I don't think he deserves to live, to be honest, much less work in a fine establishment like Morris Auto Detail. It doesn't make any sense. Instead of firing my brother, step up and help us out to bring down these people that are making his job hard. I mean, you know my brother. You know how he is. You know he hasn't done anything. I mean, how can you say this, sir, Rex? How can you say this? I, I, I highly encourage you to check out that Pinterest. Yeah, unless you're going to argue that it's a different Wangus Ravenwood. So instead of worrying about some stupid reviews and some stupid stars on a freaking rating system, forget about that. What should matter is the safety and the well-being of your employees. You should worry about the safety and the well-being of your customers as well as your employees. You should worry about the safety and the well-being of society. And that's why Wangus needs to be stopped. Especially if you know they're a hard worker just like my brother is. <sighs> I mean, I don't know about his work ethic. That could be true. Uh, I can't say anything to the contrary. Um, but his desire for 10-year-old boys in dresses is undeniable and unmistakable. Trust me, I know what it's like to run my own business just like you do. I know, I get where you're coming from, I do. You want to have your place have a good review. But at the same time, the well-being of your employees should be what comes first. Plain and simple. That's what should matter first and foremost above all else. You need to treat your employees like you treat your family. You wouldn't fire your family when they're going through something very dangerous. And uh, you talk about danger, Cyrax, and that's just laughable. You really need to check out your dad's Pinterest. Maybe share it with your mother. I mean... I, I would love to hear the story of how or why you call him your brother. I would love to hear the story that Sally told you. And people are putting false stuff out there. No. You're going to want to sit down with your family and help them out with this situation. Oh, also, I think a lot of you guys probably missed this, but uh, Tangerine and Cyrax had a confrontation today on a live stream. Um, we're we're going to get to that whenever this is uh, wrapped up. So instead of firing my brother for something that's out of his control, because what's going on is not in his control. It's not in our family's control. All right, this is a great point. Uh, that he was raging for days over Caitlin, but I don't know Tangie's like, oh, well. Um, yeah, I really think that uh, Caitlin was his true love. It sure is how ain't in my control. But uh, nevertheless, I'm still working vigorously at getting Tanj put into a group home. <laughs> okay. What these people do is not his fault, so you can't blame him. And so the people giving my brother's job a bad review, you guys need to keep your fucking mouths shut. Because you don't know the full fucking situation. The full situation has been detailed to great length. Um, what, are you, what are you talking about, sir? Have you gone and looked at the details? Or do you just want to bury your head in the sand? I, I can understand why you'd want to do that, to be honest, if that's the case. But um, you really shouldn't know who and what you came from, because I think it is who you really are. You're just not as strong, and you're not as cunning 
And, and thank God. My brother didn't do anything wrong. When he did do something, that was years and years ago. And he's still doing it. He, it, it could be argued that what he's doing is even worse. That was almost 30 years ago. So quite honestly, to the people giving my brother's job a bad review, you need to keep your fucking mouth shut because you don't know what's going on. For real. Keep your goddamn mouths shut and your negative comments to your fucking self. Uh, the Tan's breakup song hit hard. Yeah, I think I, I, that's what I probably should open with. Fuck, I, that's, that's what I'll close with. Um, I thought it was good, uh, but it should be known when he was like, I was there for you as your father was dying on the bed in the hospital. Um, for one, I don't, he, her, her father wasn't actually dying. I think she just needed like a space from him. But uh, he he would continuously ask her for nudes, like when he was under the belief that she was in the hospital and he was about to die. He like he he kept saying like, "Well, you promised, you promised," um, which is just like so fucking depraved, you know. It's just no sensitivity at all. Um, but yeah, that's true. It was years ago. That's what Tony said. Yeah. And says, and says, uh, agree. It is so bizarre that he calls him his brother without a doubt. Um, plain and simple. Keep your negative comments. Like, I don't know if a, a man who jerks off the 10 year old boys in dresses and raped a woman or a, well, not even a woman, but a 14 year old girl is a hill that I would want to die on. But Cyrax is insistent upon it. See yourselves. If you're going to talk shit on my brother's job, you may as well talk shit on me. Oh, shit. Sure would be a shame someone left a review where they said yeah, children... Like un- said, yes, my brother did what he did. Oh, man. Oh, oh, fuck. That would... Oh, uh, boy. Oh, shit. Chuck and mate. But that was 30 fucking years ago. Let it the fuck go. Oof. But as for my brother's boss, I mean no disrespect to you at all. Whatsoever. And I hope you... Yeah, he's, he's basically giving them business advice. <laughs> uh. you don't take it as disrespect... There's nothing that Cyrex can say next that wouldn't be disrespectful. If he ever leads with a preface of, I'm not trying to be disrespectful when I say this, you can guarantee that the next thing out of his mouth is going to be super disrespectful. Because like I said, like yourself, I own my own business. I run my own custom clothing shop. I have my own clothing line. I have my own brand that I've built up from the ground up. Yes. Or not only my YouTube channel. Yes, yes. And you know what? Honestly, um, somebody should just fucking link it. So I would love, oh, man, to, to be able to get this guy's thoughts on what the hell am I watching right now? Like, why am I dealing with this situation? How did, this, how did all of this manifest? But for my fans, because I actually do music and artwork for a living, so... I created my own clothing line to, you know, support that. So I know very well what it's like to run your own business. And I get where you're coming from. But at the same time, you cannot. You cannot. Sit there. (laughs) And threaten to fire my brother over something that's not in his control. What do you mean it's not in his control? Like, being a pedophile? Being a rapist? Maybe you're right. But if it's not in his control, then he can't be exposed to children, women, anyone. These people are very maniacal and evil people. And they will use any means necessary to attack my family, to attack him, to attack your job. Well, 
we really don't want to have any trouble cause to Morris. You know, they probably do a great job, but um, they he probably changed his name. Uh, they probably didn't do their homework. And now they're confronted with, I wouldn't even call it a, a tough decision because it seems pretty clear cut. You got to get rid of the guy. The place that you run, these people are seriously bad people. They're very evil. They're very just not good people at all. Like These people will do anything they can to ruin my life and my family's lives, including my brothers. So like I said, instead of... Um... No, I guess I... You know, I think he probably got lost here. Because uh, I guess the title is a message to the people attacking my brother and his job. I'm guessing that in his mind, he believes that they'll probably somehow look this up. Um, I also sometimes think that he believes that, like, this small realm is uh, – that it has a massive reach, that, like, he's on national television or something like that. Um, you know, like a, a, even like a thousand people out of the world, like it's – it's just like a, a, it's not even like a grain of sand on a, on a beach, you know? Um, but I think that he believes that it is. Sitting there threatening to fire my brother over all this. Don't worry about the freaking rating system. That'll come back. Something you need to learn about running your own business. That is true. Is that people are always going to talk crap. Somewhere, someone down the line is going to talk shit. Plain and simple. It happens to the best of us. Are you the best of business owners? The best places in the world that have five-star reviews get shit talked about them all the time. Um, yeah, but I would say like that they are, by rule, the dissenting opinion. If you're talking about the star system, um, I would say that if they have five star reviews, that the negative reviews are few and far between. You just don't hear about it. Trust me, I know, I've seen a few. But like I said, instead of worrying about what people say and a star rating that these people give, you're the place you run, sir. Instead of worrying about that, worry about my brother's safety. Help us bring these freaking evil people down. Because that's what's important is your employees. 75 cents. Forget about yeah, what for people sure. say. Forget about the shit that people talk. Yeah, forget that there is a, a predator in your workplace who is maintaining an ongoing fascination in 10 year old boys in dresses. Like his, it's just getting worse. Like the last, you know, we, we heard from him was he was doing 25 years for raping a 14 year old off of a bike path that left lasting physical injuries and warranted a 25 year sentence. Uh, it seems that you've only gotten worse. You're now focusing on like 10 year old boys in dresses talking about taking them against their will. And it's just like the stuff of nightmares. It's, 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 it's depressing to talk about. You know, it makes you feel like nauseated. It's, 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 it's terrible. But uh, I definitely don't think that he deserves the position anywhere. Worry about my brother and his safety. Worry, worry about, oh my God, worry about children's safety, Cyrax. That's really what, what you got to consider there. Okay. Oh, Help him to help us. What do you mean? Because the public needs to know about people like Music Biz Marty. You gotta be kidding me. Oh my god. Uh, who is a bigger threat to the public? Pedophiles or Music Biz Marty? Jesus Christ. I mean, coming from him, I'll, 
I almost take that as a compliment. But, uh, you know, he, he calls me like a terrorist. Uh, I don't know, Sarah. So I, I just think this guy's behavior should be evaluated. And uh, Morris should really consider uh, his ongoing behavior and make an executive decision. And Tangerine Cat and all these people that are attacking my family and my brother. Who happens to work for you? So please, instead of firing my brother, help us to f out. So you want them not to just help your rapist, creep, pedo dad, but you want them to... How would that work, Sardex? Do you want them to, like, pass out flyers at... at at the car wash, like, make, hey, stop music, Biz Marty. Uh, if you leave, like, if you report music, Biz Marty to YouTube, we'll give you a free car wash. Like, what do you, what do you, what do you mean, Sarah? What are you talking about? Do you think that uh, Morris has connections to, like, the FBI or something? I, I, or has friends in high places? It's a small car wash in Anchorage. I think it's a single location. You know, what, do, what, what kind of, what are you, what are you suggesting here? How us bring these people that have been terrorizing my family and him to justice? Help us bring these people down. Help us make a change in the world. Because with your help and the public knowing about these people, maybe something can finally be done. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. I'm assuming this is a, a troll here. Um... Scarlett Pate, so who are you calling pedophiles since he was helping a transgender friend with transgender awareness? A bunch of like 10 year olds? I mean, it's an interesting uh, angle. Um, Cyrix is lucrative clothing venture, gives them the right to speak about small business. That's true. Maybe all of them. <laughs> yeah, for sure. For sure. Um, didn't Brother Daddy says, you know, people who. Um, yeah, I, I wasn't sure who he was referring to. I don't know if he was making like threats or, uh, I'm not, um, that's escaping me. My friend Wingus hasn't committed a crime in over 20 years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This person can't, listen, you can't, you don't know Wingus. Get out of town. Is anyone buying this? I mean, there's a part of me that thinks it's possibly legit. Maybe that's just wishful thinking. My friend Wenga says, hmm. Now, if you don't understand what's going on, allow me to fill you in. These people by the name of Music Biz Marty and this, this internet terrorist group known as IP2 Network, along with my now ex-girlfriend, Tangerine Cat, who I didn't know was a cyber bully the whole time, have been attacking me and my family for no reason. They've been ruining my life, trying to cost me my job as an independent artist. Like I said, I do music as well as artwork. And okay, uh, well, so I looked up. I looked up um, you um, on, on Facebook. Uh, you got to see though that some of these pages, some of these pictures, say that young feminized soccer boys are easy to convince. And, and what do you think he means by easy to convince? Um, this is interesting. I don't know if, if you'd have any desire to speak on your uh, dear friend Wangus, but uh, I'll post the streamer thing in the chat. Um, I, I'd love to, to hear from you if that's the case. Um, some of like the captions on there lead me to believe that the report on BM and get a free car wash. Yeah, some of the comments on there lead me to believe it's Angus. It's Angus. You know what? Uh, wow, pretty interesting. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking this is legit.
I'm thinking this is legit. So what is – how did, did Angus help assist a child in transitioning? And why is Angus having this role? It seems kind of weird that a former rapist is helping kids transition. I'm sorry. He, he reaped a 14-year-old and now shows interest in the same age group. Should go well. Yeah, I, I agree. I agree. Uh, what could go wrong there? I truly believe this is uh, the real deal because I, I looked up how to pronounce Angus uh, last night. Um, and that is correct. That it is kind of pronounced like Angus. Um, so, I mean, that is pretty intriguing. And I, I wonder, like, what brought you here? Uh, is, is he whining on Facebook that uh, the picture is saying that young feminized soccer boys are easy to convince? Well, I don't know if this is going to happen or not, so I'm just going to keep pressing on. What not? So, like, you know, like I said before, I know it's like run my own business. But this is what I do for a living. This is how I make my money is off my music and my artwork. And these people do not like me for whatever reason. So they're doing everything they can. Hmm. He's helping adult trans men with transgender youth awareness. I don't know. I, I don't know about that. Um, 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 I mean, that was like a pretty good answer, but I don't know. What does he mean by it? So explain this to me, and, and you can go out and check, check out his Pinterest, but what does he mean when he says that young feminized boys are easy to convince? What are they easy to convince? To, to get a car wash? They're easy to, to sell timeshares to. Like, what's he talking about when he says they're easy to convince? The images were used only, not the captains included on the images. Well, that's not true. That is 100% not true. Yeah, I mean, listen, if... I, I think that I'm being more than fair here. Like, I'm hearing you out. Um, what's preventing Angus from appearing? Or you, for that matter. I would just like to know the facts here, truly. Um, I don't know, Scarlett, if you've read his criminal record. I don't know if you've read the details of the crime, but they're pretty gru gruesome and graphic and grisly. Um, the fact that this guy's thinking about transgender children and compiling pictures of them on the internet. You don't find that at all suspicious. You don't, you don't find anything wrong with that. Like to me, that's just definitely major red flags across the board. Scarlet probably is Angus. No, I know I looked up Scarlet really, really uh, briefly. Um, I mean, Scarlett, I don't know if you'd be receptive of this or not, but I could call you on Facebook. Um, uh, no, 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 no. I don't know about that. Uh, I have invited her on the panel. I believe I've posted the link a couple of times here. Um, I, I'm definitely uh, intrigued. One second here. Hmm.
Okay, I just uh, I just reached out on Facebook. Um, I don't know if you're uncomfortable or not. Do I think uh, Angus is a member of of Nambla? Mm, no, only because I don't think that Nambla is uh, as active as it used to be. I think like they were uh, they got a pretty good job of being shunned. Um, so yeah, let's just continue here until I, I hear anything. They're trying to shut me down and they shut me up. Because of the fact that when I get attacked, I don't just lie there and take it. I actually stand up and I fight back. And I don't know if my brother told you this, but when I was a kid, I was bullied my, as a kid my entire life. My entire life, I was bullied as a kid, even in high school. My entire life, I was bullied as a kid. Um, you're an adult now, Cyrax. In theory, anyways. Um, you know, if you can't if you can't take it, don't dish it out, as they say. Where it got really, really bad, to where I physically had to fight back. These people hate on me because I stand out, because I'm different. Because the music I do isn't for everyone. Okay, you know why I spent 20 years in prison. Uh, I also know he completed four years of sex offender treatment and has not reoffended. Um, you know, I don't know if you've heard this, but let me um, find some audio for you here uh, of of Angus. Um, and it's not, it's not pretty. Uh, he seems to still be very rape-minded. Um, I think he threatened to rape one of my uh, friends, mothers and sisters, and even him. He, uh, he, he, he told somebody he was going to rape them and their mothers and their sisters. Um, it seems to just be how he resolves his conflicts or just something that he's preoccupied with. And, you know, it's not good. It's not good. It's not good at all. Not good. One. The kind of music I do, I speak about my life. I wish you were I talk about All right, my I'm trying life. to find it. I'm trying How? to find it. Um, let me see here. Bear with me one moment. Um, uh, you know, instead of looking for it, um, Shit. Uh, if somebody could, like, find that for me and, and timestamp it, that would be helpful. Oh, I've attempted and survived suicide many times over. How I deal with depression on a daily basis. And a lot of people gravitate towards that, and they actually love it. So, like I said, my music isn't... All right, you know what? Uh, that's, a, that's a great point, but he's just throwing the words back at us. But do you find it all weird that this guy with his history is compiling pictures of 10-year-old boys in dresses with sexual comments next to them? Uh, you, I mean, he seemed to be, to be pretty sharp. Um, but can you address that one? Do you find it odd that this man with his history is, is spending a great deal of time compiling these picture books. Well, first off, first off, first off, that, that wasn't me. But uh, I, I would like you to address if it's odd that this guy is compiling pictures of 10-year-olds in dresses. I mean, you, you can, obviously it's easy in the chat to sit there and cherry pick arguments, but that's, a pertinent question that remains unanswered. and I don't know if you're going to get around to that or you're just going to uh, take pot shots, but. I'll, I'll wait. Well, 
well, I'm, I'm, I don't think you're going to address that one, and that's fine because, I mean, I've addressed everything you've had to say, and it seems kind of unfair. No offense, but um, it's, it seems kind of strange. Really radio-friendly, to say the least, but it is very, very real. But like I said, instead of wanting to fire my brother, just let that go and help him out. I mean, I understand if you don't want to come on the panel to defend Angus. Like, it's not a hell that anyone really wants to die on. Um, but I, I just want you to address that question. If you find it odd or peculiar or unsettling that a man with his history is spending a good deal of his time compiling cutesy photos of 10 year old boys in dresses with sexual comments next to him. That's, that's all I ask. Um, I think I've been pretty fair with you. Um, I, I know you're watching, so let's just, let's just get to that if possible. Um, thank you. Uh, But what is – what is – you helped him with the trans youth awareness. Okay, but the, if you say that you're helping him, that it was essentially his project that he was spearheading and he is collecting a bunch of 10-year-old – pictures of 10-year-old boys in dresses. Um, given his history and the way that his mother speaks of him in a dismissive manner – and disparaging fashion. It just, it all paints a picture. Um, and that doesn't fully answer the question. Uh, do you find, is there anything unsettling about that to you, that this man with his history is spending time on a project compiling pictures of 10-year-old boys in dresses with sexual commentary next to them? I don't know if it's number 35 or 38 in that album, but it says that, uh, feminized soccer boys are easy to convince. What are they easily convinced of? What is he referring to when he says that? What is he referring to when he says that feminized soccer boys are easy to convince? That is the question. For real. Let that mess go and help him out and help him bring down these people. And I, and I get that you should never bring your personal life to your job, and I understand that. But this isn't just affecting his personal life. Great question. Why is a sex offender involved in trans youth awareness? Um... Well, you know, yeah, that's, that's a good point. Um, but I do think that this is definitely productive. Um, you know, learning that Angus is in trans youth awareness. Ryan says she's a P word too, maybe. I don't know. I don't, I don't. He didn't make the comments on the images. That is how they were. Has to be trolling. No, I like, well, here's. No, I really don't think so. I, I looked up uh, the profile. Um, correct, WDB. Correct, correct, correct. Um. I mean, let me ask you this, uh, Scarlett. Do you think that the age of consent is appropriate or do you think that it should be lowered? Or do you think that sentences for people who commit offenses against children are draconian or do you think that they are fair? Or do you think there should be any sort of reform in that arena?
he did make the comments. That's how Pinterest works. The comments weren't on the images. He had to type them. Okay, fair. So, so I, I think we're begin, beginning to get some common ground here that people who commit offenses against children are reprehensible and abominable and unconscionable and all of that. You know, I think that goes without saying. But what do you think Angus's interest in this trans youth awareness project was? Does he commit himself to any other activism? Is he involved in any philanthropy? Is he involved in any civil service? Like what, uh, beyond looking at and compiling pictures of children, what is his involvement in quote unquote activism? Okay. Okay, absolutely. Um, I mean, and I, I hate to like scare you off here, but uh, is a sex offender supposed to be looking at pictures of 10 year old children and compiling them? Do you think that that is at all suspicious or suspect? I mean, I'd love to be able to hear your side of the story. Like, you know, I'm, I'm, I don't think I've been disrespectful to you at all, or, and I have no intention of doing so. Um, I just want to get a better understanding. And it seems that like only you or potentially Angus could provide it. Um, he had a coworker who was a trans man who was being with street work, and this is how it started. Well, I mean. Angus does have a history of lying. He, he has told Chance that he is his brother. He, well, actually, you know what? I'm glad you said that. I'm glad you fucking said that. Uh, because on his Facebook, he faked cancer in 2017. Angus faked cancer in 2017. I don't know if he was looking for money or sympathy or attention, but he faked cancer in 2017. Uh, he called up the police to tell him, to tell them that he was not the suspect, um, which was a pretty interesting move, but nevertheless, um, how do you explain all that? How do you know that he was telling the truth about this trans man coworker? I, I personally don't buy that. Um, I'm going to post a link in the chat again. Um, or I don't know if, let me check my Facebook. I don't know if you've accepted my request. Um, it seems you have not. That's okay. Um, like, truthfully, I'm just trying to get a, a better understanding here. Um, He doesn't post pictures of young girls dressing as boys or adult females transitioning to men. That is a good point. Yeah, this is not what, what activism looks like. <laughs> Bill Smith. Nice, nice. Um, hang on one second here. I got to check something. Mm, okay. Um, the trans man's name is Austin. It is Austin. Um, okay. Ah, oh, man. I, I, I would love to be able to just ask you a couple of uh, questions about this. Um,
Interesting. Interesting. Um, yeah, it seems like people are thinking the worst of you here. And, you know, again, uh, the, the, the pictures on that Pinterest were really messed up. Um, I, I kind of look at it like this. Like, he could say that he is campaigning to raise awareness of anti-child pornography laws or something. But by essentially all he's doing is compiling pictures of CP, you know, um, and, and given his history, it's kind of, kind of suspect. I'm, I'm sorry. Um, not trying to be rude or disrespectful to you. Um, sounds like you do have some insight into Angus and, uh, what makes him tick, and I'd love to hear from it, but it's just kind of frustrating only being able to, to get partial responses. Get Scarlet's hard drive now. Um, hmm. Yeah, start off trying to help a trans man, but then why is the page full of young boys dressed up like girls? If this is about a trans man, then why were trans children's pictures being used? Uh, not good. Not good. Not good at all. This is it's pretty bad. Pretty bad. This is affecting everyone around him and his job. And that's not fair to him. That you should sit there and fire him just because it was freaking star rating review. That's not right. Now, like I said, I'm not calling anyone out here except for the people that were attacking my brother. And the people that were leaving bad reviews. But even I'm, but even to the people that were leaving bad reviews, I'm not really attacking them. I'm just saying, hey. If you got something negative to say, keep it to yourself. Nobody wants to hear that bullshit. Just saying. Yeah, well, um, I, I understand uh, her, her trepidation and reluctance. I really do. Considering Angus is probably not even supposed to be looking at pictures of kids or saving them or having access to them or compiling them. Um, all the pictures show pubertal kids. I'm not buying it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, listen, this is the honest to goodness truth here. If I'm being unfair here, I will admit it. I've, I've admitted when I'm wrong before. I've always taken accountability for anything I've done. Um, or at least by what I believe is wrong. Um, it's, it's never really been a problem of mine. Um, if I've got this wrong, I will definitely tell people to retract their comments I will not mention Angus at all further. And that is a promise. That is not what Pinterest is for. So I, I really don't know much about Pinterest, but um, my limited experience dealing on it, it looks like it's a haven for pedophiles. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like just based off my very limited experience on it. But a word of advice to my brother's boss from one business owner to another Stop worrying about freaking star ratings, okay? A star rating is a star rating, and it shouldn't matter what kind of a star rating you get. If you get a five-star rating, hey, that's cool. If you get a four-star, hey, that's cool. At least you're still up there, okay? It shouldn't matter whether you get a one-star, two-star, or whatever. Like, this isn't about stars, I guess this is about like Grand Theft Auto stars in a, in a way. And uh, as somebody said earlier, you know, he got five stars on a bike path. Doesn't matter. What should matter is your employees.
And like myself, you of all people should know this phrase. This is very old, but very, very true. Happy employees mean a happy business. And a happy business means good money. <sighs> okay, this, 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 is, this is just, this is rich. This is very old, but very, very true. Happy employees mean a happy business. And a happy business means good money. Because means good, mean a happy business. Old, but very, very true. Happy employees mean a happy business. <sighs> I mean... I guess, I guess it's, I guess there's some truth to it. And a happy business means good money. I don't know that that's always the case, sir. I don't think that that is always the case. Because the happier your employees are, the better they do. And the better they do, the more business you get brought in. And the more business you get brought in, well, that just leads to more money. Than what they do. Because the happier your employees are, the better they do. Huh. And the better they do, the more business you get brought in. Huh. Okay. And the more business you get brought in, well. I would love for this guy to see Cyrax and to ask him about his credentials and his experience. Oh, that just leads to more money. So like I said, instead of treating my brother like he's an employee, treat him like he's family. I mean, even if he was family, if he after seeing his Pinterest and after his bike path incident, even if he was family, I would disassociate. He's not on the registry. Huh. By any chance, is that because it was before the advent of the registry? Like, how is he not on a registry? How does how does he how does that happen? Let me see. Let me just see if I can uh, figure this out. That's interesting. I'm just seeing if the registry came after his offense in Alaska. Okay, well, Rupal got pretty lucky here because I guess the, yeah, it was before 1994. Correct, 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 correct. Um, wow, yeah, so, a uh, Jesus. Jesus Christ. This crime was committed before August... Scarlet is too much of Angus's info not to be Angus. <laughs> oh, Angus, Angus, Angus. You devious man, you. <laughs> From North Canton, Ohio, of course, of course, of course. Oh, boy. No friends, nothing on your profile. Unwillingness to actually speak. Oh, Angus. Oh, man. Nice call, Benelli.
He does keep in contact with his former parole officer. Oh, boy. How do you know so much about Angus, Scarlett? Do you still, are you still in contact? You're his ex-wife? No, get out of town. What? No way. Oh, way. Hang on a second here. What the f Wait a second. Bullshit, this is a troll. We were married for two years. I'm like frozen here. I'm 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 blown away. The amazing thing is that Scarlett uh, knew the proper pronunciation of the name because so I looked it up last night, and it is pronounced Angus, and they knew that. I'm going to go with uh, Gigi Allen's take here. I, I always uh, value the guy's opinion. Um, Scarlett... And they knew the 1994 thing, like, right off the bat. So I don't think it's a troll. You know, and it was, I call bullshit. How would they know 1994? How would they know the, the pronunciation? Oh, boy. Oh, no, Cyrex is live. I'll never, okay. Treat him like he's family. Okay. Help him to help us bring these cyber boys down, and this internet terrorist group IP2 that that this person oh my is God. working with down. So I guess he's now challenging me, Schmeckle Cat, and Tangerine to a three-on-one bare knuckle fight. He's the best. Oh, wow. You're such a badass, and Schmeckle. You want to sit there and talk about how you're a badass? Why don't you fucking get off your lazy ass and fucking prove it? There's one thing you don't mess with, and that's a man's family. Because you will end up hurt. <laughs> well, Cyrax, if that's what it takes, if that's what it takes... I've been considering going out and meeting with Cyrax. Let's fucking do it. Let's fucking do it, Cyrax. If you're willing to sign some sort of waiver, then I would be more than happy to do it, Cyrax. Marty, I'm challenging you, Schmeckel, and Tangerine Cat to a three on one. Bare knuckle fight down here at Summit Lake. At Summit Lake. Perfect, Cyrax. That's what I was thinking as well. Oh my god. I messaged Schmeckle that earlier. I was like, listen, I've been thinking about going out to Akron. Uh I was gonna ask him about, you know, uh having a beverage with him, you know, bullshit or whatever. Um but uh I, I told him that like, you know, right out by the lake. Perfect. Oh, come on. I'm tired of you fucking running and hiding like a bitch ass coward. And Tinge, just get you out, crowd with you Bitch, your fighting style is made for sport. I don't think that's the case. I think crowd with God is like an Israeli. Self-defense, um, I don't even think that's true. 
I think it involves like biting, like testicle stuff. Like I don't think there's any uh, sport to it. My fighting style that I grew up around is made for survival. You forget, Sarah. I was raised in a military family. You seem to forget that. You were raised in a family of rapists. So trust me when I say my fighting style can kill you if I really fucking want to. Your little bitch ass crawl with God style ain't shit. If anything, you're just like Marty. You're a weak ass bitch running her fucking mouth. You ain't shit. And Marty, you talking about how you could be my fucking ass nigga? Why don't you get off your fat fucking lazy ass and come fucking do something? Cyrax, consider it done. Consider it done, Cyrax. Consider it done. If you can sign some sort of waiver. I would be more than happy to meet you at the lake. You bitch ass coward. You want me? I'm right here. I'm not hiding. I'm challenging all three of you to come up here to Summit Lake and show me what you can fucking do. I'm done running. I'm done fucking hiding. You know what, Sir X? I guarantee you, by the end of next month, I will be there. My birthday is at the end of the next month, and you're going to be my present, Cyrax. If you're you're more than fine with that, Cyrax. I, I, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's fucking do it. You want me? I'm right the fuck here. Stop running like a bitch ass coward. Stop running like a fucking pussy. Man the fuck up and fucking do something. Stop barking like a little puppy dog bitch that you are. Stop running like a coward, Sarah. Or are you too busy sucking Marty's dick to even open your fucking eyes and realize the, your own bullshit that you're fucking doing? <laughs> um, you know, I almost think that the confrontation between Cyrax and Tanj on Courtney's stream was more entertaining than, than, than this. Um, I think he's just gonna keep going off like this on and on and on. You fucking pussy ass little whore. And Shemeckle Cat, let's not forget you. You think that I owe you shit? Because the only thing I owe you is a fucking punch in the goddamn face. <laughs> and Marty, fair warning, if you don't accept this fight, I will bring the fight to you. Well, that's actually more convenient for me, Cyrax. Um, I would love to slap you around. Uh, to be honest, I kind of wanted to see your house. I kind of wanted to see New York-style pizza, and I wanted to knock on your door. Uh, those are things that I actually was thinking about and possibly planning on doing. Um, but, I mean, it would be a lot more convenient if you just came to me. Uh, but I know that you're not capable of doing that. and That'll never happen. I will come out there and I will fucking put you on the fucking ground and beat your goddamn ass within an inch of your fucking life. And no, I'm not fucking playing around. I'm done with you fucking bitch ass wannabe tough guys running your mouths, talking shit, and attacking my family. You want to attack somebody? Attack me, nigga. Attack me, you pussy. Attack me. Leave my family the fuck out of it. <laughs> Leave my family out of it. You want me? I'm right the fuck here, you coward ass bitch. I'm right the fuck here, and I'm not going no motherfucking where. Nowhere, bitch. I'm right here. <laughs> and Sarah, you and I both know you couldn't even fucking beat my ass even if you wanted to. I am 100% sure that she could. I think that uh, pretty much anyone could, Cyrax. You're a midget. So come on, bitch. Don't think I won't put you on your fucking ass, Tangerine Cat. I will put you on your ass. I'm not fucking playing. So go ahead. Keep running your mouth. 
Watch what happens. Hmm. I'm glad that was short and brief. Um, <laughs> been a whole episode talking about it. Uh, okay. Um, so I'm, I'm glad that it wasn't too uh, long because the, the confrontation between Tand and Cyrax was pretty noteworthy. Um, I'll play the last five minutes of this because like, I think I got through almost all of it. But, uh, I promise you, sir, it's not going to be long before they come after you. Because now that they come after my brother, it's only a matter of time before they come after you and everyone else. And honestly, because I promise you, because Marty is working with insurance group IP2. Yeah, it has nothing to do with IP2. That, that this person, because Marty is working with, down. Because I promise you, sir, it's not going to be long before they come after you. Because now that they come after I promise you, sir. It's not going to be long before they come after you. Why would we go after Tanj? Because now that they come after my brother, it's only a matter of time before they come after you and everyone else. Doesn't, and honestly, I don't... doesn't make any sense. I don't want to see that happen. Because I can tell you're a good person. You have an amazing, amazing family from what I've seen. Wait, is, all he knows about... Tanja's family is that her major brother got raped by a great dame. So what is he talking about? <laughs> what is he talking about? You have such an amazing family, and, you know, I congratulate you on that. Like, for real. And I just don't want to see these people coming after you or your family like they're doing my family. Your dad needs to lay off the little kids. So as I said, instead of treating my brother like an employee, treat him like family. And the first rule of family, you always, no matter what the situation you look out for family. But he's a pedophile. If you, and he raped a kid. People that I work with every day. Other artists that I work with. Like my good friend Ian Dunsworth, a.k.a. Bradley. I work with that man on a daily basis. I work with another artist by the name of Crypt K on a daily basis. And let me tell you, I don't just treat them as other artists. I treat them as family. I would treat my employees like if I ran a business as big as yours. How many employees do you have? Bratley, do you pay him? What is his salary? I would treat What is your revenue? My employees like family. That's like I do the people that I work with every day. I treat them like family. Yeah, me too. Not like employees. The safety of your employees should always, always come first, no matter what. If your employees are being attacked by people like with what's going on on here, and you're seeing this stuff, as a human being, you can't just sit by and watch that shit happen. <laughs> all, all right, Scarlett. Well played. Well played. Well played. You got me. You got me. You got me. All right. Any, troll, trying to troll me further is just insult to injury here. All right. You know, you, you, well played. Well played. Always love a good troll around these parts. Well played. Hats off. Hats off. Happen. You need to stand up and actually do something. So, like I said, I'm going to leave you with this. Instead of attacking my brother by threatening to cost him his job because you know how he is, you know that he's, you know, okay. worked very hard for you. He's a very hard. Could be Angus. Could be Angus. Um, Angus, if it, if it, 
whoever this is, I can't do anything unless I hear from you. I feel like I'm kind of getting trolled here. Um, I'm going I'm to post a link in the chat. Nothing changes until I hear from you. Hard worker, and I will give him that. But instead of threatening to fire my brother because of a stupid ass review, maybe you should step up and try helping him. Because my brother didn't do anything. It's these evil people that are attacking our family. Your brother did do something. Angus sniffs car seats clean. That's his own, <laughs> his own new job. Uh, Cyrex's employees. What the fuck? Yeah, yeah. Heel grapper six. Greetings. Good evenings. This guy has zero grip on life. That is also correct. So like I said, I'm just giving you a little bit of advice here. All okay. right. From one... From one business owner to another. I'm giving you a little bit of advice that I've learned over the years that you might not realize is important. Which is always treating your employees as if they're family. As if they're own, as if they are your own flesh and blood. You can't do that, Cyrax. Like sometimes you need to make decisions and just uh, squash people. You know my brother's a hard worker. So what if these people leave a a four, a five star, four star, three star review. So what? Screw the people that leave a bad review. They don't matter. That's uh, to me. The Aaron Morris comment shows that this person has. This is what they've obtained off of Google. Um, because I don't know why they would know Aaron Morris per personally. To me, they're they've definitely uh done their homework and are uh, Googling shit on the fly. Uh, I don't think that this person would know Aaron Morris. Maybe. Um, I mean, if they were actually married. Uh, you know what? I remember actually, shit, that he had a, uh, a bridal registry. And in fact, I, you know, I'm going to call bullshit right here because uh, uh, there's a Lucinda Knopp and Wingus Ravenwood wedding registry uh, with nothing on it, but there is a uh, registry. I'm just looking at some other things here. Looking at uh, business, um, hmm. I'm not sure how long ago this was, but he could also work at, well, I'll post his LinkedIn here. Um, Oh, wow. I think I have a fucking email for Wangus. Huh. Someone's opinion. You can't let an, op an opinion affect what you do. But with that being said, to the people that are attacking my brother and attacking my family... Fuck you guys. You guys are nothing more than a bunch of coward, spineless, hmm. pussy ass internet terrorists that are going to get brought down by me and my family. So just know that y'all stupid asses that are doing this are going to get brought to justice by my hands personally. And I will see through to it that it does happen. I can promise you that. That is not a threat. That is a promise that you will get brought down. Oh, shit. Brad Silverdog, I think uh, you, you make, like, Rich Life videos, right? Huh. I just connected the dots on that. Huh. Well, welcome. For everything that you've done to me, to my family. <laughs> so, Marty. 
you better be freaking ready because honestly, I'm coming after your ass. I'm bringing you and IP2 Network and everybody that you've gotten involved to attack my family, I'm bringing every one of you down. And I'm not stopping. My family is not stopping until that happens. So, Marty, I hope you're ready for a war, bitch. Because I'm coming for you. <laughs> okay. All right. Great. 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 Um, uh, you said yeah, so moving on from that, you know... Uh, I just can't get over Angus uh, soon enough. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I, I guess Cyrex appeared on Courtney's stream today, uh, as did Tanj. And, uh, by the way, definitely uh, subscribe to Courtney and like uh, her stuff. She, she has Cyrex on a lot. Um Definitely big fan of, of, of what she does, and uh, definitely go and check that out. And I should say that uh, Courtney did not know about Angus's Pinterest. Like, it seems like she's defending. Uh, there you go. Well, let me see if I can get a better one. Um, here, one second. Uh, okay. I think this is... Okay, this is probably a better link. This is a better link for that. Um, but uh, definitely go and check that shit out. All that good stuff. Drop a like, subscribe, and share with your friends. All that fucking, you know, you don't have to do that. You don't have to, you don't have to do anything. But um, you're here just watching Cyrax videos, and lo and behold, old Cyrax comes by. And that's always interesting. You, you always got to tune in when Cyrax is there. As a freaking, we got a weird star already in it. Cut my ass out for a minute, but uh, what's up? You already know. What's up, brother? Same what's shit up? every day, what's man. Up, how's, how's it going? Eh, not too bad. How about yourselves? What's up? I'm just hanging out. I'm, I'm doing all right. Dude, so I just watched uh, Talking Wrench. Oh watched my it. god. Dude. Dude, 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 they're so dude, good. Dude. Dude, people have been asking forever for a continuation of that, but it's like, how do you top that? Like, there's no topping that. Like, that was so on the spot that it's like, I don't even think I could recreate that again, even if I wanted to. It was so just like... What made you do it? Is it because of Wrench? Because of like... Hey, hey, literally, it was just like an on the spot thing because I just happened to be... Um, I just happened to get home from skating at the skate park with some of my friends and one of my trucks came was... And I sat down and I started to tighten it back up because one of the trucks came loose. So I was sitting there tightening it up, and just all of a sudden, it just like literally hit me. I'm sitting there thinking, like, I want to film something, and I want to do something, because, like, I've seen so many people do, like, you know, films on their own and doing everything themselves and doing just a solo film. And I'm like, what can I do that would be really interesting? And it just, like, I just started grabbing, I just literally grabbed my fucking Kindle Fire and just started fucking filming. I just started doing these weird ass voiceovers and came out with that shit. Like not, that was knowing, not knowing that it was gonna be as huge as it was, I was like, wait a oh second, wait a second. It's so good. You have to make more of them. Wait a second. Not, not knowing as huge as it was. What does he mean by huge? It got like a few hundred views. So like, not don't knowing, it. not knowing those voiceovers and came out with that shit. So like, not don't knowing. It. Not knowing that it was gonna be as huge as it was, I was like, "Holy shit!" It's so good. You have to make more of them. I know, I know that, and uh, my film, The Darkness, were like my two biggest films right no, there. Like, not. I know, like the top two that everybody like. Wingus isn't coming on here. No fucking way. Just really enjoyed it. I'm like, I was sitting here the whole time. Like, why did I not do this sooner? <laughs> So good, dude. So good. Right. So, what's like? What's happening lately? So, every is everything good with your dad or with? Uh, well, I, as much as I hate to say it, because of Marty and them, he could possibly lose his job because of what Marty and them have done. Um, Angus doesn't want to fucking talk. I don't buy that for a second. 
I don't think so. And there's freaking mess in. Wait, what? So this is legit? Yeah, Heather is like, she's not dead. She's alive, but she's missing. She ran off with some dude here in Ohio by the name of CJ, which I don't even know who the fuck that would be. And Ricky hasn't heard from her in like two fucking weeks. She had the baby three weeks ago, and she, he hasn't heard from her since. Wait, she? so you know that she had the baby? baby. Yeah, yeah, Ricky. Yeah, I actually just got off the phone with Ricky a few minutes ago. Uh, he said that she did have the baby, but after that, like after that day, he hasn't heard from her since. All he knows is that she ran off with some dude in, uh, up here in Ohio by the name of CJ. So where is the baby? With her. And he doesn't know here we where go. the hell they're at. Here we go. It takes him a second. but Oh, shit. Holy Jesus. fucking shit, dude. Yeah, it's, it's insane. Oh my and God. here's the little freaking. <laughs> oh, no <laughs> one to scam me. Oh, what are you no. Trying to scam him? Oh, no <laughs> one to scam me. <laughs> what are you no. laughing at? Oh, what the fuck are you laughing at, you fucking idiot? <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what the fuck's your deal, bitch? Me? What's up, no. Dan? No. Who are you laughing at? Who's What's laughing? I was laughing. No, come on, Tange. What's up, Tange? Hey, What's up, Tange? Hey, Tange, why the fuck are you laughing, you fucking lying ass little snake? Oh, I saw what you said on Marty's stream last night, you dumb bitch. What'd she say? <laughs> no, Marty's yeah. Marty stream. She, she literally admitted. <laughs> They're fucking trolling me the whole fucking time. The little mama was just loving it. No, it didn't. Oh, bull fucking shit, you fucking liar. Did you get It's you? right there on Marty's screen, you fucking retard. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, Tanj sent him an email saying that she just felt kind of betrayed. Uh... Is that Tanja up there? Yeah, here let me let me link you to uh, to Courtney's channel here. Um, uh, oh no, that's my stream. Okay, uh, okay. Um, here you you go there. Um, we all saw it, man. We all fucking saw it, so don't even fucking try that bullshit. Yeah, but she briefly tried to salvage it by sending an email saying that she just felt she was unceremoniously dumped without a word or an explanation. So she pretended that she was a troll for me the entire time, and, you know, it was a last-ditch effort. Um, and it's fine that it wasn't accepted by Cyrax. We all fucking both. But, 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 yeah, she does try one, one, one more time. Uh, gotta give her credit for that. Shit. I can't believe bull, bull fucking shit, Tange. We all saw you on Marty's stream last night and they need to do it what you did. So don't even try that show me. Tange, what, what, what did you say on Marty's stream, Tange, that <laughs> upset him? Well,. What happened was last night I was really, really hurt because I don't know. Nah, don't don't lie. Don't <laughs> lie. You know you fucking know what you <laughs> Well what happened was last night I was really, really hurt because I don't know. Nah, don't don't lie. Don't lie. You know you fucking you know what you said. Don't fucking lie. Are you gonna let me speak? Are you gonna shout? Oh, shit. Well, let's see. Don't buy it. Oh, and, and, and it's great to just see a, a fan's reaction to, to just this entire ordeal. It's tell the truth. Oh, yeah, let's let, let let see for a minute, Cyrax. Yeah, go oh, ahead, Tange. Go ahead, speak your bullshit fucking lies. Thank you. So, um, <sighs> Cyrax just blocked me yesterday. He didn't explain why. Um, now, that you wanna, no, you want to know why I blocked your ass yesterday? It's because I found out you were a fucking troll, you fucking reject. <laughs> Don't even fucking sit there and try to lie. I did it for a fucking reason. 
So if I were you, I'd keep my damn mouth shut and quit with the fucking bullshit. Matter of fact, why don't you take your fucking thank ass back to the UK? Better yet, you're probably not even here in the US anyway. So take your fucking fake ass back to fuck home and quit with the bullshit lies, you dumbass coward. You're just like fucking Marty. You're a troll ass snake who's doing nothing but going after people for her own fucking guilty pleasure. So t- <laughs> Tang, fuck you and your fucking bullshit and the horse you rode in on, you dumb cunt. Get the fuck out of here. Well, I knew that was coming. So, okay. So, Tange, I want to hear, I want to hear what you have to say, Tange, because obviously you're very soft-spoken, so it's tough to hear you when he's talking. Well, the thing is with him, he's admitted to me a few times that when he, he knows that he's backed him. Angus. Yeah, about time you answered on this thing. If you weren't backstage here, uh, I would not pass up an opportunity to speak with you. I've been on here. I've I've tried uh, saying something to you three different times, and nothing came through. Uh, well, I can't explain that. Um, yeah. So I guess like my first question is because I, I looked at your Pinterest, uh, and I was kind of horrified at some of the pictures and the comments. Those comments were not. Those comments were not made by me, Marty. Those comments were on the Pinterest uh, pictures when I de- when I loaded them. Okay, what was like your campaign for raising trans youth awareness? You, um, what was your campaign for trans youth awareness? Because one of my coworkers, Austin, who is a trans male, was getting harassed at work, and he wanted to help. Doing uh, transgender awareness. Okay. Um, it just seems like odd because it was strictly pictures of kids, like boys in dresses, and saying uh, that they're easy as, to use. Like, as, my ex, as my ex wife Scarlett was telling you. Yes. As my ex wife was telling you before. Those weren't the only images we used. Those were just some of the best pictures for what we were doing. Okay, I'm going to look back at some of these pictures here. Um, one moment here. Like some of them are very, they're very scantily clad. Um, the one that really strikes me is that young feminized soccer boys are easy to convince. What are they easy to convince? I don't understand that fully. Those comments were part of the picture. I did when, I, when we copied the pictures, we didn't use the comments that were on though. Those comments were already on the pictures on Pinterest. Okay, and I see like what a wonderful dress for a cute boy, and there's like a ten year old boy's like head cut out and paste over an adult woman's body. That uh, to to me, like it seems like sexualizing children. I understand. I understand about the comments, and I understand your concern on that. But that was not what we were going for. We were just using the pictures, not the comments. Okay, like I'm going to show one of these here, and I don't know if this is uh, this is going to get my stream taken down very well, Mike. But um, oh shit, here uh, wrong. Okay, feminized soccer boys. Are, are easy to convince. Like, what drew you to this picture? What was like the goal? The reason, the reason we the reason we selected those pictures is because the the high prominence of transgender youth nowadays. Sure. Um, this is the man who you said you were going to rape his uh, mother and sister, and I understand you're probably but I'm guard. Good evening, gentlemen. Hello, Mister Schnuckel. Um, I couldn't pass the opportunity to uh, come up and uh, talk to the man, the myth himself. Hey, Schmuckle Cat. Hey, mm. Schmuckle Cat. Mm. I'm here. That was just my that, that was just my way of getting your guys' attention to let you know I was listening to what you guys were saying. 
No, were you watching it? You were watching the stream. I guess. I guess so. Um, uh, that's all right. I didn't take any offense to it. It's quite all right. Yes, I was watching the live stream last night and the night before. Awesome. Does this look at all inappropriate to you? Like it's kind of weird. That it like you know, it honestly made me feel like sick to my stomach. Maybe I'm getting the wrong idea here. Under the circumstance, under the circumstances of the way you guys are putting it out there, yeah, it would be inappropriate. But okay. you're you're misusing the what the purpose of what those pictures were used for. Okay, what are feminized soccer boys easily convinced of or convinced to? What are they easily convinced of or to? I have no idea what those comments on there are referring to because those were on the pictures when we selected the pictures themselves. Hmm. Okay. If you go on, if it must have stood out to you, like to save it and use it for later. Um, if you go on to Pinterest and you type in transgender youth and they look at images, those comments are on there. <coughs> hmm. Right on. I, I can't say that's something I, I've done yet. Um, you said this was for transgender awareness? Or youth? Transgender youth, transgender youth awareness. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just a little uh, shocked here. Um, it, what did these pictures have to do with promoting Austin's plight. Like what does that end up developing? Austin, Austin asked me to help him to put together a transgender youth awareness thing for Alaska because Alaska has some of the strictest laws for transgender. Hmm. Um, I, I've been asked this a million times. Uh, and I don't know if this is, off base and appropriate to ask, but uh, can I ask what happened with Connie? Connie died in a house fire when when Ch when uh, Connie died in a house fire while I was in prison. Fair enough. Um, can I ask, like, how, like, what your relationships like with Chance? Like, does he know? what you've done or um, like the details of it. Cause I've heard him refer to you as his brother before. Chance no chance knows all about my past. Okay. Can I ask why you're the reason, the reason he refers to me as my br as his brother is because my mother adopted him when he was in the hospital as a baby. I mean, wouldn't he call you his father, though? Stepping over a line. I don't. Yeah. I don't no, know. he does. He does not call me dad at all. He only calls me as his brother. He calls me Mark. That's it. Oh, sorry. Or uh, gotcha. I mean, I guess like the Pinterest story is somewhat plausible. Um. Like after and I'm, I'm really I'm really upset that you get. Hey, um, Marty, listen sure. for a second, please. Sure. Marty, listen for a second, please. Okay. Please leave Aaron Morris out of this. My, he's already fired me over this because it's bad for his business. Even though I've had no issues in two years, I've worked for him, but it's now harder and hurting his business. What was his uh What was his uh reasons of uh, letting you go? Because of this, the uh, the comments you guys are uh, plus the emails you sent and the Pinterest and everything else, it was the whole combined thing. It does look pretty sinister uh, with those comments on there. I mean, I guess. Well, I, I don't mean, know. If he got through to chance, but he just this this kid. He just doesn't seem to really learn things. Uh, he, no chance, chance. 
let me say something, Marty, and it's not this is not in defense of my son. My son has no no understanding of how to stop when he's told to stop. And I can have no control over that. He doesn't listen to me at all. <clears throat> Do you, yeah, I'm, I, I, well, I can't really fault you there. He doesn't seem to listen to too much of, of anyone. Um, I understand the issues you guys have with chance over the blind Billy thing, mm -hmm. but I but I don't have any control over what he's, what he has. I have no knowledge of what he has or hasn't done. I just know what my mother's told me in the last three days. <clears throat> could, sure, you us, I mean, could you give us, could you give us your take on it? If you wouldn't mind. I have I have no take on that because I have no I have no knowledge of what happened or allegedly happened or anything else. All my mother has told me is that you guys were harassing him about this issue, and then, and then now you guys were harassing me, jumping on me. Fair enough. When Fair I have enough. not had I have not had any problems since I've gotten off parole or any of anything else. Did this campaign go anywhere? Like, is there any evidence of it existing? Okay, I can't. I can't hear half of what you guys are saying because uh, the video is playing in the background. Sure, absolutely. Is there any evidence of this campaign for Austin existing? Uh, not anymore. It's been it's been two years almost since it happened. But, so uh, it's, it's been that long ago, and I have no. I, I've deleted all the stuff. The only reason that Pinterest page wasn't deleted, like you guys have said, is because I don't have the password to delete it anymore. Hmm. It's been two years since this was done. And I'd have no way to get in there and close that account out. Otherwise, it would have been gone a year ago. Is there anybody who has any awareness or recollection of it? I I don't even know how to get a hold of Austin anymore. He has since he was uh, terminated from uh, ABC where we worked at at the time because of his being transgender, and he took all the stuff with him. So I have no knowledge of where anything's at anymore. If there was a way to get a hold of it, I would, and I'd show you. But he is no longer uh, even in Alaska that I know of. Sure. I mean, it would just go such a long way to verify that this was for an actual PSA. Um, and I'm just trying to be as objective as possible. Because um, just from what it looked like to me, upon first glance, you know, soccer boys are easy to convince. He's wearing a dress and he looks sheepish. You know, it looks, it looks pretty bad. Hey, Marty, I know. I understand that. What you need to do is uh, just sometime on your own time, go on to Pinterest and look up transgender youth or transgender girls and see what pictures it pulls up. These are, those are comments are there. Those are not my comments. I can't. I, that's why we use the pictures only, not the comments with them. Hmm. Fair enough. If you, were to, if you were to talk to if you were to talk to my parole officer Matt Matthews, my former parole officer, he would tell you that I had no incidents in the four years that I was on parole after I got out of prison, and I've had no issues through today. I keep in contact with my parole officer at least once a month, just to let him know that I'm doing good. Sure. I mean, you have somebody here saying that a convicted offender looking up children in compromising positions. Um. <clears throat> Hmm. Well, I, I mean, I, I went back and I went back and looked at that Pinterest page yesterday. I pulled it up and looked at it, and the only scantily clad ones I saw were nineteen, twenty-year-olds, and those are legal age. So there's nothing illegal about that at all. <clears throat> I'm not saying that it's necessarily illegal, but you know, just. It made me kind of feel like repulsed and revolted. Like, what, I just don't understand what they were. Where were you looking to find uh, a picture of, of a boy saying that? I just, all I typed all I typed in on Pinterest was transgender youth, 
transgender uh, female, transgender girl, and those were the pictures that pulled up. Hmm. Um, fair enough. Um, I don't know. There's just no evidence of this campaign. You would think there'd be, you know, with social media raising awareness of it. Um, like, who is this Austin person's last name? Like, they've just vanished. They're nowhere to be found. Uh, I. I actually never knew Austin's last name. It wasn't until the last uh, few months that he was working there that I was getting to know him. Uh, he invited me to his birthday party at the Blue Moon, which is a gay bar in town. Uh, I went to that just to support him with his friends. But because, as you know, my older brother, who has passed away, was gay. And I, I have a lot of friends that are gay because of that. So I had no problem going to this par birthday party with him. And that's when we talked about doing transgender awareness and what he did with the information after I helped him put, after Scarlett and I helped put it together, that was the end of it. I have no idea what he actually did with the information, but the reason we did it is because the Alaska transgender laws, especially pertaining to youth, are so strict. Hmm. The uh, you, you guys talk about the cyberbullying and all that stuff that you guys and, and Chance and everybody else has mentioned over the time that I've been on, been uh, paying attention to this. Uh -huh. OK, that was the major thing that was happening up here is the kids that are, are known to be transgender up here were being bullied in school. They were not being allowed to use uh, appropriate bathrooms. Alaska up until last year did not have. Uh, protections for uh, transgender youth being able to uh, be in school and be safe. Hmm. Um, so, and, and Scarlett said that you were married at one point. Is that true? Yeah, we were married for two years. She divorced me because I couldn't give her any kids. I'm I can't have kids anymore. Okay, I thought Scarlett was transgender though. No, no. <clears throat> Hang on a second here, Scarlett. I think I just looked this up. Um, um, yeah, I, I did notice something else about the Pinterest, like a lot of the links of the people who posted them that were attached, like have all been deleted. Yeah. Well, like I said, I can't delete it cause I don't have the password to get in there and delete it. So I can't even get off of there. I, I want that thing. That thing should have been gone a year and a half ago, but I can't delete it because I don't have any way to get into the account and delete it. Yeah, I'm not seeing like a single picture of a trans man on here, though. It's just boys as girls. Because that wasn't the only that wasn't the only site that we used for getting pictures. That was just where some of the better pictures were for what we wanted to use for higher quality pictures. But there's not like a single picture of a, of a girl dressed as a man here, like Austin. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm telling you. We didn't use. Pictures from the, uh, all of our pictures that we used, we didn't use. We didn't use all the pictures that were on Pinterest. We just selected those pictures as possible pictures, and then we went from there. But there's got to be plenty of pictures of young trans men, and, and you, for whatever reason, didn't choose to select a single one of those. Which, well, to me, just doesn't seem like it would be sympathetic to Austin's plight. Well, like I said, it was we were doing it for transgender youth, not specifically for Austin and himself. It was just for transgender youth in general. He he thought that that would be a way to get more uh, more information out there about transgenders. Period. Uh, because of the he, his main issue that he wanted to push was for transgender youth, not to, not for himself. Hmm. Okay. Um I've but do me do just do me one favor, please. I've already lost my job over this. Please leave Aaron Morris alone. Drop all the BS with Aaron. He's already fired me over this. He doesn't need any more bad publicity. He's run a good business. He's been the best boss I've had in, in years. And he knew over a year ago about my past. And he kept me on because there were no issues. I wasn't causing any issues at work. I wasn't messing with anybody. I wasn't doing nothing. And that's why he kept me on for the last year. Okay, I know that, that Chance is raising a campaign of his own to have the guy protested. Um, he feels that he doesn't know how to run a business properly. 
Um, my boss knows that my boss knows how to run a business. That's why he let me go because he knows what this could do to his business. He likes me as an employee. I've done no wrong when in the two years I've worked for him, I have supported him and I've done extra jobs for him to help him keep his business going. I even, my vehicle that I own, I bought from my boss because I know his business and I trust him and he trusts me. And that's why he, he knows I'm not going to do anything. He knew I wasn't going to do anything, but it's because of the bad publicity towards his business that I got fired. You think he'd look past that, you know? He would if it wasn't damaging his business. No, I get, no, I get that. Like if, if, but he employed Austin, so you would think he'd be aware of your campaign. No. Okay, you're 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 missing. This was that was at that was when I worked with Austin. That was at ABC, not at Morris Auto Detail. Okay, <coughs> two different jobs. Right on. So he branched out. I haven't, I haven't worked. At, I haven't worked at ABC in two years. <clears throat> hmm, okay. I quit that job because the owner was fucking with my pay. And then I went to work for Aris about a month later. I have no problem being on here and answering your guys' questions because I know and anybody that knows me, all what few friends I have after being out of prison, I've only been out of prison for six years. Uh -huh. What friends I do know or that do know me will stand by me and tell you that I'm not doing anything illegal or wrong. Uh, Is there anyone who knows Austin? No, no I've, got, I've got family. Anyone I've got family. I've got my family that uh, family and friends that live around here by me. That, and I'm not going to give any names out because I don't want them being harassed as well. But I've got seven or eight friends that live in the trailer court where I live, and they will stand by me a hundred percent because they know I'm not doing anything wrong, and I haven't done anything wrong, and I'm trying to better my life because of the one fuck up I did in '94. Um, I admit, I admit that I fucked up. Back in 94, I have had no problems with that. I went through sex offender treatment. I, I went through it for four years, completed it with with the highest grades I could get in the, in it oh, for doing the homework and everything else that we had to do and apply, applying uh, techniques that they give uh, that they teach us to uh, no longer reoffend. And I haven't reoffended. It's been I've been out of prison for six years, been off parole for four years. Because I am doing good. I'm not doing anything like that wrong. Right on. It just seems weird that, you know, how old were you when you, you brutally raped the 14-year-old on the bike path? I, I was 16. I mean, I was 26 years old. Okay. I'm 53 like, now. Right on. Hmm. I mean, I, I guess there are people who argue for the capacity of reform rehabilitation, but I don't know that compiling pictures of kids and sexual positions and with comments necessarily indicates that. And, and I'm sorry for being skeptical. Um, well, Marty, you are entitled to your opinion. I will give you that. But the truth is the truth, and I'm trying to put it out there. That's why I'm on here with you right now. I mean, I kind of think it's more along the lines of, of self-preservation. That's understandable. Like, I still think you are employed there. It's just, you know, my hunch. Actually, I'm, I am not. I got fired today. I got told, do not. I turned in my key today and was told not to come back. Well, I mean, if this guy fired you over this, then I say, fuck him. Uh, let the people go crazy on Edward Morse or whatever his name is. Because if he really, you know, thought, saw you as a valuable employee and is a good guy, you said yourself you bent backwards over for him. And the guy just goes and fires you instead of says, okay, well, let's figure out how we can, uh, you know, stop this. Then fuck well, him. Well, actually, actually. Let him have it. Okay, let's, let's see it for a second, Smackle Cat. Sure. Because he did tell me that he was going to give me some time off. And let this blow over. But when you guys started attacking his star rating on his business, he went from a perfect 5.0 business down to a 4.0, 4.8 overnight because the comments that were posted with my name specifically on it, because it had my name specifically on those comments. That's the reason he let me go. Well, I feel we should drop him down to a 3.8 just for firing you for this. <laughs> I mean, I, you know, a little justice for yourself, you know, let's keep I, him going down. I say, you know. 
if it's going to be that, that way. I don't want. I don't want that for Aaron and his family. He, Aaron has a Aaron has a family that he's got to raise. He's only he's only in his thirties. He's had this business for eight years, and he wants to keep it. He wants to make his life out of it, and I think he deserves it. He's done right by it. I mean, you got. I'm the, one that, I'm the one that has the. I'm the one that has the problems because of my past. It's not Aaron. I'm the one that screwed up. I'm the one that went to prison. I'm the one that did my time. I'm the oh. one that's got to survive through this. He doesn't hmm. have to go through this. He doesn't have to survive through this. I do. Did he know about your background when he hired you? No, he didn't know until a year ago. Okay. Because, because I don't have to register as a sex offender. I'm not required by law to notify my employers any longer now that I'm off parole, I don't have to notify my employers of my past. It's so the only reason he found out is because I, I had talked to him once about being in jail and he pushed the issue and kept pushing the issue until I explained to him what my past was. Well, well, he was ready to, he wanted to fire me then, but I was, he considered me such a good employee. He kept me on and tried to work, look past this. Well, now this has come up and it's made it harder for him to keep me on. Wouldn't that come up on the background check though? He didn't do background check. Oh, well he fucked up then. <laughs> I mean, he's hiring a pedophile or a fucking well, I'm rapist. Not a, I'm not a pedophile. There's a sure difference. You are. I, can see is... I can see it in your eyes, Rupal. You are definitely a pedophile. You remind me of a I man know, named Tony. Not, you first, sound first off, my name's not Rupal. First off, my name is not Rupal. It's Angus. Yeah, I had my name legally changed five years ago. You said your name is Anus? No, I said Angus. Now, oh, don't it's even go there right Angus, now. Like the beef, like the beef. Right, exactly. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to call you Anyhow, Anyhow you're an I, was not, I was not required to. Your son threatened me to wave the gun at me tonight, and he challenged me to a fight. I will be showing up to. Um, I don't think Angus really cares about that, to be honest. Um, Edward Morris, or whatever his name is, we'll call Edward him Zach Morris. Morris. I think he's an asshole, and I encourage everybody to lower that to a two star rating. Fuck him if he's gonna fire, you know, a hard working man fresh out of jail, and he's got a family as well to think about. And you know, if he fires you, I say we get him down to a two star rating. Fuck him. Uh, you know, crashes, burn his business down to like Connie's house. You know, let's just you know, burn it down. And please don't talk about Connie like that. Connie was the love of my life from uh, from elementary school. We were married for a, uh, quite a long time, and her death hurt me hard. Wait, Sally she said died, she was... died. She died in a house fire that was because how of did a, that a wood start, stove. By the way, how did the fire start? Wood a wood stove. She was using a wood stove that didn't have proper piping through the walls. It had. She ran a. She ran a single stove, single wall stove pipe through the walls. And it got too hot and burned down the house. I heard it was on Chance's birthday. Actually, it was on Buddy's birthday. Buddy's birthday. Oh, I, yeah. I heard she fucked up Buddy's birthday cake, so they burnt the house down with her inside of it. Not even close. Oh, no. well, that was don't, just don't, a rumor. Don't even, don't, even, don't even start that. Been, don't even start anything been, bad like that, please. I'm sorry. I'm nice. I'm nice enough to come on here and talk to you. No, I'm sorry. I I, I apologize. Sally don't said, disrespect my late wife like that, please. Sally said she, she doesn't was, deserve any of this. Sally said she was fully disabled. No, she wasn't. Just okay. mentally. She had some mental issues. Yes, she had problems with uh, ADHD, and uh, I can't remember what the other one was that she had. But she did have some mental issues that made it hard for her to get some stuff done. Hmm. It took me three years to teach her how to drive a car, hmm. and I drive a stick shift, so. Were you in protective custody when you were in prison? No, I was not. I was in general population. How are you still walking right now? I've had my fights. I've got my scars. What's but when I, once I once I stood my ground and let people know that, and I, I never denied, when I was in prison, I never denied what I was in prison for. That's part of what saved me. I did not deny my case. What's that, my, a, what, what's that a tattoo what happened? on your chest there? What is that? What's, which that one? Tattoo. I've got, I've got that, that, one on your left, that one on your left shoulder there. What, on this the, one here? Yeah. That's a Celtic knot with a lion in it. Hmm. Um, were you that big of a loser that you couldn't get pussy at 26 so you had to rape a 14-year-old? No, that's that's not what happened at all. Then why did you rape the 14-year-old? Uh, yeah, I, I've read... I'm not going to get into that on, on live video. Uh, it's... 
been extensively evaluated. Uh, you know, you, you took her about 50 feet off of a bike path. You held a T-shirt over her head. Uh, you threatened her life. And then you called the police saying that the guy looks like you but wasn't you. But your bike path, uh, your bike tires lined up perfectly. And there was like a gross preponderance of evidence. Like it, I, I would love to know what happened if they're getting it wrong. I am not going to go and get into this on live video. Do I have any of the details incorrect? You have some of it incorrect, but it's that's because the courts had it incorrect. So I'm not going to argue that because you're, you're reading the documents correctly. Okay, what aspects? I was I was convicted. I was convicted solely on circumstantial evidence. There was actually no physical evidence to uh, convict me. I was, but that's neither here nor there. I was convicted. I did the time. Well, but hang on a second. Wasn't your front and back tire uh, identical? There, I think they were actually different makes and models. Um, they said that they were similar, and but if you also looked in that area where the crime was committed at, there were many bicycles that went that, down there. Not only that, but that was that bike path where that happened at was on my way to work. That I went, that I rode that bike every day. My bike tracks were going to be there. Right on. Uh, and there was just another uh, guy who was identical to you along the bike path or i'm not i'm not saying that i'm i'm just telling you that i was convicted on circumstantial evidence they had no definite proof that it was me that did it uh dna didn't dna didn't prove it was me nothing but i was convicted on the preponderance of the evidence there was too much evidence that said it could be me so i was convicted and i'm leaving it at that huh. What? No, oh, sorry, Dad. Get out of here. Um, my, uh, that's the old man. Um, wow. Yeah, it's uh, it, it's uh, yeah. I don't know. It's pretty. It's pretty. I'd probably shy away from any type of youth activity or uh, anything like that. I mean, if I had that con conviction. Yeah, like campaigning for any sort of youth. It looks. I mean, there's a guy who also did that. His name was Jerry Sandusky. Do you know who that is? Uh, actually, I do know who that is because I'm a football fan. There you huh. go. Oh, okay. But uh, the the whole thing is, is I have ever since that has that one uh, pro project I did with Austin. I have not done anything any other project like that. I do uh, support the Star Program here in Alaska, which is stand together uh, <laughs> for rape awareness because of the things that have happened in my past. Because. There are a lot of things that you guys don't know about my past, and I'm not going to throw it out there, but there is a lot of things out there that uh, affect how people live, and it affected my life as well. And because so I have, as part of my treatment and my not a reoffending, I actually donate money to and support the uh, STAR program up here. Um, Chance uh, once asked a friend of mine for uh, nude photos of his uh, deceased uh, girlfriend. Would it be far of me to ask for nudes of Connie? <laughs> I would shoot you for that. Oh. Well, there you go. I mean, I'm glad you said that. I'm glad you said that because, uh, I mean, I happen to be that person. And uh, Chance asked me for that. Then he accused me of murdering her. How would you feel? Granted, you were in custody at the time, so you couldn't have murdered her. but. How'd you feel if those accusations were uh, were loving your way? I would have been very badly hurt because Connie and I were still madly in love the day she died. Chances threatened uh, uh, our lives as well with a gun and has claimed to have military training. Have you ever taught him how to use a gun or has he ever fired a gun that you know of? I have, My stepfather was in the military. <clears throat> Not not Ed, but my step my stepfather that was married to my mother when they adopted Chance was an airborne ranger, and so he most likely does have the knowledge and know how. Gotcha. But not from me. Do you okay. have a? I have not. I have not have physically it? seen. I have not physically seen Chance since he was about five weeks old. <clears throat> Do you have a weapon to shoot me if I were to ask for the nudes? No, I'm not allowed to. Oh, okay. Well, then, may I have nudes of Connie? <laughs> Go fuck yourself. Oh, okay. Mm. Um, I don't have any nudes. I don't have any nudes of Connie anyway. Do you have a picture of her you could show us? Actually, no, I don't. Mm -hmm. I don't have a lot of the stuff that I had before I went to prison. It's unfortunate. 
Um, I lost a lot of stuff. Do you ever plan on seeing him, or is it just kind of something that you don't have much of an interest in? And I don't blame you if that's the case. I, I, I saw a chance when I was in Ohio in 2018. I was I was actually down there for a while. What did and you, I what saw did him you, and my mother both. What did you guys do? Just went out to dinner. <laughs> right on. Right on. Was it at Applebee's? Uh, no, actually, I don't even remember where we went. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't have a good it, was, it was in Ohio. It was it was in uh, North Canton. Yeah, he doesn't have a good uh, track record at Applebee's, but uh, I mean that's neither here nor there. Um, I don't either. I don't no? either. I worked at, I worked at Applebee's for three days and got fired. Really? It wasn't because people were leaving bad reviews, was it? No, actually, it was because uh, the regional manager told me not to talk to anybody about being in prison, and half the employees <laughs> were, were were former prisoners. Hmm. And one of the uh, one of the assistant managers asked me where I got my tattoos had done at, and I said on the inside. Well, she went and reported it to the reg regional manager, and I was fired on the spot. You know, that's disheartening, too. If you'd like to give the uh, address and name of the Applebee's, I'm sure we could lower their rating as well as more. <laughs> no, I, um. no they've, they've, just, they've just lost my business for the rest of my life. Because they, they, although they, they, do, they do have good food, I will not go in there and eat. Um, what are your plans moving forward if, now that you're not working at the uh, uh, Morris Auto? Uh, find okay. another job somewhere and uh, keep my, keep it li not listed on Facebook so people can harass me. It's a smart move. Yeah, I, I yeah, wherever I go to work, I'm going to keep it private. Do you uh, do you have any plans of going back to Ohio? No, not at this time. I've I've only I was only down there. I was actually working for my aunt that lived in Akron or in North Canton, Ohio. Uh, she brought me down there to help her work on her house, but she's since passed away. So I have, other than my son and my mother, I have no reason to go down there. And they don't usually associate with me until, except for the last, the, I haven't spoke to Chance since he was 21. It was the last time I spoke to him oh, other wow. than when I saw him in Ohio. If, uh, I, I'm, I don't, I don't want to be, hope this isn't a touchy subject, but if your, um, you know, mother were to pass away, do you, would, if Chan, you know, think he'd come to live with you or do you, what do you think would happen to him? Cause he's got I like, you know. I couldn't handle him. <laughs> yeah. What do you think would happen to him then? I mean, he's what would he do? He refuses to get a job. He's got no money saved up. I mean, do you think he's I have, no, I have no? I have no idea. I've, and I, I haven't thought about that because, <laughs> to me, I've lost the rest of my family. My grandmother, all of my aunts, my dad have all passed away. The only family I have left is my brothers and sisters and my mom and my son. Hmm. And that's it. And to think of mom being gone, it's not something I try to think about. I mean, yeah, but it's bound to happen. You know, it's something you, you should like maybe have planned for or prepared well, for. Or... Well, my, my whole thing, my whole thought on this right now, and that's just right at this minute is hopefully by the time mom passes away, chance will get his shit straight and, and uh, do something with himself. <laughs> Yeah. Um, um, with these, with the videos I've seen the last three days, it's my my hopes on that is dropping drastically. <laughs> but that's what I hope for. Well, <laughs> I mean, hopefully, Buddy's doing better than than Cyrax is or Chance. Buddy, Buddy is doing good. Uh, I have no contact with him. Uh, he was adopted by his foster parents when he was five years old, and they live down in the lower forty eight somewhere. And he refuses any contact with any of our family at all. Yeah, I mean, so you don't have, you wouldn't want to say invest in his musical career or his uh, e racing? I don't know anything about that. And I've heard him sing, and no thank you. <laughs> I was going to ask if you've heard any of his music. Uh <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what's going to take him uh, far, you know, his music. Have you seen any of his artwork? Actually, I have seen I have seen of his, some of his artwork, uh, some of the abstract stuff, but that's about it. And yeah. he does better than I do, so I can't complain there. Hmm. Yeah, he drew a cityscape that I like fairly recently. Um, huh. Uh, I'd rather not talk anymore about fair enough. Chance. This because fair this enough. whole thing this whole thing is about me. You're right. You're right. Sure. You're right. You're right. Um. This whole thing was about me and my past and what, what has led to me being fired from my job. That's the only part I want. That's the part I want to clear up. Your dealings with chance is your dealings with chance. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. I would say that, that if I, if this was a, a like a 
public service campaign to raise awareness for transgender youth. And like the pictures of feminized soccer boys are easy to convince is a misappropriation or somehow misconstrued. Then, then that is my apology for misunderstanding. You know, I, I don't know. It looks, it looks kind of strange to me. I'm not going to lie to you, but my opinion, you know, at the end of the day is neither here nor there. It's just my opinion. Well, like I said, if I could, if I had a way to delete that page off there, it would be it would be gone. But I have no well, way sure. to even delete I'm that. Sure. I've, I've been in contact with Pinterest and everything else, trying to figure out how to get that off of there. I've been trying to get it down for a long time, but I can't. I don't have the password. Would you be willing to show? I don't even. I don't even, I don't even remember the email address that is associated with that page. It's been that long ago. I uh, I don't know. What did they, uh, how did they, we have a person we know, uh, he has uh, issues with 14-year-old girls at the mall. His name is Tony. Uh, what did they do to help you to get over your pedophilia? Uh, first off, I wasn't a pedophile. Well, you raped a 14-year-old. Let, 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 let me finish what I'm saying. Let Definitely me finish. Pedophile. Stop. Stop right there sorry, and listen. Sorry, go ahead. I'm sorry. I apologize. Okay. At, the time I, at the time my crime was committed, I did not know the age of my victim. OK, it wasn't until after I went to trial that I found out the age of my victim. I did not intentionally go after a 14 year old girl. That's what Tony would say. Yeah, That's that's what he says. That's, that's exactly what Tony would like. No, that, that that was fact, though. OK, how many four in, in 1994? How many 14 year old girls had 36 uh, D cup tits? Well, well, did you measure her tits before you you raped her? No. I mean, how did I how saw, did that go about though? Like you were just riding down the bike trail and you just got a hard on. Um, and, uh, like I said, I'm not going to get into this on live video. This, I, I, because you guys will play it out there, and I know how you guys do your shit. I've been watching it for the last three days. I'm not going to get into this on video. Well, that's a definite. Uh, so, are you aware of your son's penis problem that he currently has? No, actually, no. I, I, I until you guys commented on it on the live stream the last couple of days. I know nothing of his health. Well, he's okay, currently ask, living. I'm I'm sorry. Go ahead, Marty. Can I ask what you were thinking when you when you called the police? Like it seems like kind of a questionable move. <laughs> that at the time that that phone call was made, my friends that I were that I was living with at the time told me. That the, pic that the picture looked like me and that I should contact the police and let them know that it wasn't me. And so that's what I did. Hmm. I was back then. I didn't know anything about the law or any, or how the law worked or anything else. I've since le then learned a lot, <laughs> but that is, I mean, it is, I was, I was stupid, young and dumb. And that's all there was to that. I mean, okay. you feel yeah. I know you referred to like your upbringing. Sometimes things cause you to do, the things that you do. And I think that's just naturally how it works. You know, um, like what was your upbringing with, uh, Sally? Like, like was, I, I wasn't. What do you, what she, do you she divorced my dad when I was five years old. Uh, I lived with my dad and my stepmother since I was five years old. Hmm. I, was, I not, I lived, I visited with my mother a couple of times over the years, but I was not raised by my mother. So she just kind of like ran off. She got away from my dad. She knew how my dad was. Ah, uh, I see. Understandable. Yeah, I think that probably says a lot. Um, I know that he was, I think, like about uh, 25, and Sally was, I think, 14 when uh, you were they, were... they were They were 10 years apart in age, and the reason they got married was because my dad had gotten my mother pregnant. <laughs> so they could so they could get married. Because they did, they did love, they, at the time, they did love each other. And uh, by today's law, by today's standards, that would be wrong. But back in back when they got together, it wasn't it wasn't considered inappropriate for their age difference. I feel like Elvis Presley. Yeah. So I mean, I, th I think. Do you know? Was your dad like twenty five or twenty six or twenty four? I think. Uh, uh, she was when they got married. She was fifteen, and he was twenty five. Right on. Thanks. This is like something that runs in your family. No. 
I guess it could kind of be normalized, though. I guess if you look, if you look at, if you look, actually look at my the history of the age of the women I was married to, two of the three women I was married to were older than me. Connie was the only one that was younger than me, and she was only about three years younger than me. But we were best friends from from elementary school on up. Um, did did any did your other two wives have any kind of mental problems? Because Chance seems no. to be attracted to girls with. Uh, mental disabilities for some some strange reason. Um, no, uh, no, I had no, my Connie was the only one that had uh, the problems that she had, and our our relationship was all about the the fact that like I said, we've been friends, we had been good friends from elementary school. I used to live right across the street right. from her and her family, and so I grew up around her. Hmm. And to me, her problems weren't her weren't really problems to me. I I saw past them. Gotcha. Yeah, I, I I still think this Aaron uh, Aaron Morris guy just sounds like a real creep. I really want to drop his rating down. I really uh, I just I just really gonna get, I just wanted to take him down to like a two. He's really I don't like that he fired you, like especially after you bent your back for him. Like I'm gonna get his rating down, man. I know you say not to, but you know, fuck him. I'm just gonna drop him down. Face of the earth, like there's no. I mean, I'm not saying that like they need to be investigated or put on blast or anything, but like, there's no way that anyone can confirm. I mean, they're, doing, they're not doing background checks over there. I mean, who knows what, you know, what type of, uh, you know, sh like, you know, rebel rousers that he's got working over there. Uh, Actually, I know, I know 90% of his employees personally before they worked for him. And the ones I do know don't have a criminal background at all. They're most, well, most of the people, most for the people, most of the people that work for him right now, are in their uh, early twenties. I mean, well, like from say, I, uh, nineteen to twenty-five. I have a feeling <laughs> you might. Be, I have a feeling you might be running a few into a few of them at the uh, unemployment office and the TEP agency, Rupal. So I mean, be don't out call there. me Rupal. Why? Isn't that because your name? it's not my name. My name is Angus. I had my name legally changed because I'm trying to leave my past behind me. I talked to my family about it before I did it. They agreed. I did my time. I did everything I was supposed to do. I mean, you can change your name, but me. I mean, it's, you can change your name, but the fact that you're a pedophilia rapist isn't going to go away. I mean, it's still there. Uh, you're looking at kids, like young kids who are dressed up as women. I mean, it's kind of, uh, I mean, it's still there, man. It's definitely there. You can read all the books you want. You can, you can try and brainwash it. Tell the parole board what they want to hear. But I mean, come on, man. Let's be real with each other. There was a 14 year old in front of you right now. You'd get off this stream and you'd fuck her. No, I wouldn't. Or you make her suck your dick or whatever your whatever your kink no, is. I wouldn't. You, you would do it. No, I wouldn't. I believe I you would, would not do anything like that. You, you definitely I would. have a I have I have a girlfriend. I don't need to go for young girls. I don't go for young girls. I believe that you pretend that there's a that you probably pretend that they are you, um you know make them dress up in the schoolgirl outfits uh, whatever I'm out of here I'm out of here all right Rupal go fuck yourself you rapist <laughs> you pedophile rapist <laughs> fucking faggot unbelievable unbelievable I, 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 it's I, how how did that even come about that he got up here. Like that fucking. Dude, I, I, almost, I, almost, I almost honestly took a uh, a break <laughs> tonight. I was I was tired. I feel like a little tired, a little sluggish. He's fucking creeping me out talking with him. He's kind of like talking with Tony, and uh, they had the same fucking uh, answers for shit. He's definitely a pedophile. Rupal, uh, take that fucking Morris uh, auto detailing down to a goddamn one star, guys. Uh, get all the Discord together. Fucking just take it down. Um, you know, they're not, they don't do background checks over there and they got this fucking pedo working there. Like, <laughs> the fuck, Rupal? You're still Rupal, the pedophile. Yeah, like, like Cyrax always changes his name all the time. He thinks yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't like be pedo play. Old coat, new coat argument. Yeah, I mean, the past isn't the past. You're still a fucking pedophile rapist. You raped a 14-year-old. It doesn't matter that you thought she was older. You still did it. You raped somebody, let alone a fucking kid. Rupal, you disgusting pig. Get pictures from a board called Age Play. Right. Yeah, I feel the comments. I mean, even if the comments, 
uh, the comment was still up there when he used the picture. I mean, could have used some more common sense on it. And now he claims that uh, he can't figure out how to hit forgot password and just change it in his email. Like, what do you want to bet that he's going to try and get that taken down now? He's going to put a little bit more effort into it. Oh, fuck you, Morris Auto Detailing. You're going down. There was a point one star. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't even want to see that first star filled up, guys. Just a little. Not you. Fuck it. Let's just drop them down. I do feel that he still works there as well. He's just making a ploy to leave the business alone. But we got to push a little bit harder if we really do want to get Rupal fired. So you know, keep at it. Make multiple accounts. Um, take down. Like I would love to see what what somebody can possibly do with the. I don't think he's going to make it as a musician. No, thanks. <laughs> that's I don't want it. I've heard him sing. That's yeah, even, more than anything. I think. Your grandmother, your fucking own uh, uh, pedophile father, Cyrex, think you're nothing. Uh, you're, you're, fam you're, you're just a family of nothings. Uh, buddy, uh, buddy doesn't want anything to fucking do with you, and I can't blame him. Um, Unfucking believable. Yeah, I can't believe this guy. I, I believe he's still working there as well, guys. So keep fucking taking that rating down. Keep putting his name in the fucking things. Um, you know, Rupal, I didn't know the board that Marty keeps quoting. Oh no. Rupal touched your penis when you were in there. He was detailing your car, and you know, whatever you gotta say. Well, I couldn't miss my chance to come up here and actually talk with the the man, the myth, and in, in person. Why was he up here without a shirt on? What the fuck was that? Um, uh, I'm not sure. It's like Alaska and it's cold. Uh, I don't know. That's a bit pedophilish right there, if you ask me. Yeah, pretty, pretty weird. Um, but, uh, yeah. Well, you know. What a way to end the night. A little Rupal. Jesus, fuck. Rupal still skip. Don't call me that! Well. Rupal the Raper. Jesus, I didn't know she was for it. Sounds just like fucking Tony. That's Tony right there if he had legs. If his legs work. I'm not going to get into that on a live. Right. Like, I, I figured once the Tanish thing was, was done, so that, like, you know, the Cyrax content will probably take a hit. <laughs> it hasn't, uh, it hasn't gotten stale yet. Not whatsoever. Well, no. Um... I run my own business. I run a merch shop, so I get it. I have employees. I have a team. My opinion of, of Chance is plummeting by the moment. <laughs> <laughs> He's definitely not coming to live with me when that bitch dies. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, my God. I mean, there's I, no, he definitely still works there, you know. The fucking Connie. Connie's retarded ass was trying to make some ramen noodles and burnt the house down. <laughs> He went to prison and couldn't supervise her. She was just like, and, and I like that, sorry, or the, that his dad essentially authorizes my campaign against Chance. Um, that was definitely a, a brilliant uh, question. When he said my late wife, I was going to say she was late to getting out of the house. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. This stuff is like it, it can be like... Uh, Exhausting at times. Uh, no, for sure. Uh, I, uh, oh man, like two two ruples in one week. Like this is a it's a bit much. I, I don't even know how he fucking got up on this panel, but I had to jump on. Yeah, de oh, definitely want to give a shout out to uh, uh, Lava Girl, uh, Black Cat, White Face, and uh, Jesus Cow as the most recent uh, donors. Oh, nice. uh, thank you very much. It's always appreciated. Um, just nuts. Just absolutely nuts. Uh, th this family is uh, something else. Um, <laughs> voluntarily just, just appeared here. Um, Popped up backstage? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, I couldn't fucking believe it. Uh, I couldn't either. Like, no, I had to like do the th rub my eye thing. Like, am I seeing what I'm seeing right now? Oh, uh, uh, Ted wants a link. Um, so here I'm gonna uh, don't call uh, you me. Like another half hour or so. Uh, but pretty uh, sleep. You know, what? give me like um. I'm gonna put Tanja on. Then give me like uh, like three minutes here. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna sure. myself. 
Yeah, have us, you know, stand up, get, you know, stretch the legs. Yeah, 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 yeah for sure, bud. Get a drink or something. Man, yeah. Mark Kelly comes up like Marty. I've been trying to talk to you. If you told me that, like Billy, Blind Billy, would add me on Facebook to tell all the story, that the Rupal will come up here to tell a story. It's just mind blowing to me. No, I know. Like, mm, like who would be another great? I want Sally. An interview with Sally would be good. That wouldn't happen though. Maybe Ed. At interview, that'd be interesting. I'd love to. I'd love to ask him some questions. Huh. Love to pick his brain a little bit. I see somebody just put a uh, review on Morris Auto Detail. Needless <laughs> <laughs> to say, it wasn't favorable. Oh, hmm. get them down. Drop them stars down, guys. Uh, no, I, I guess I was misunderstanding him. man, as far as uh, Tange goes. Well, okay. Uh, Next wife kept saying Mark Mark that he was backstage and Mark didn't believe it. He was he was not here, you know. I didn't see him. I would have I couldn't have I would never pass that up. Right. Uh, I wish I was a little more prepared, to be honest. But um Right. I mean you kind of get uh, like a deer in the headlights, like you have so many questions built up, but like you forget them. Yeah, I'm tired too, you know. Um I get it. Uh yeah, firing on all cylinders. For the auto detail. just look up Moore's auto detail and, and um, that's all you really need. Um, uh, okay, well, I guess on that note, uh, Smoker Cat, thank you very much for coming on. Man, pleasure was all mine. Thank you for <laughs> thank you for having me. Uh, take care, Marty, as well as chat. Good night, guys. You got it. And on that note, let's.
everyone sit there and stab me in the fucking back. Treat me like shit. Alright. It's time for a little payback, bitch. Yo. I'm so fucking angry with you. You smiled in my face and in my back you twist a knife. God damn, this isn't right. What did I ever do to deserve this? Please tell me what did I do to deserve this agony that you've done to me? Everyone in you better get the fuck away. 